You have probably heard that with great power comes great responsibility. But do you know what else comes with great power? A great electricity bill. One of the challenges we face as makers is how to power our projects. Sensors, actuators, microcontrollers, all need power and present diverse power requirements. Take microcontrollers for example. The Raspberry Pi is a 3.3 volt platform. The Arduino is a 5 volt platform. The ever popular ESP826612 E Node MCU is again a 3.3 volt platform. Sensors may require 3.3 volts, 5 volts, or even 12 volts. Meeting these diverse power requirements requires a Swiss knife of power supplies, isn't it? Able to supply 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts, and ground all in one place. Would you believe me if I told you that you can find such a Swiss knife right under your nose? I'm talking about the desktop power supply found in any PC tower also known as ATX power supply. This is a short video about how to use this power supply in maker projects. This is an ATX power supply. I bought this one new, but you can also buy one used or rip one out of an old PC tower. On the input side, you feed it 120 volts using a standard PC power cable. This one has an on off button. An ATX unit has a fan. This make and model has a fan on the top of the enclosure. When the fan comes on, the unit is active. On the output side are a number of cables. And the only one we need is this one with this 20 or 24 pin Molex connector. Inside a PC tower, this female Molex connector will mate with the male counterpart on the motherboard and supply power to the guts of the PC. Outside of a PC tower, activating this unit requires shorting two pins on the Molex connector. Those are pins number 16 and 17 per the pinout of this connector. That is the green wire and the black wire. And the way to locate these is with the clip facing me, count one, two, three, four from the top, that's pin number 16 and 17. The green wire and the black wire. So once activated, uh, the fan comes on and you can draw power from these cables. And these are color coded. So 3.3 volts are orange, 5 volts are red, 12 volts are yellow, and then ground is black. This terminal is available in 20 as well as 24 pin versions. This is a 24 pin version. And this has four orange wires, five red wires, two yellow wires, and eight black wires. To use this unit in our maker projects, one way to go about it is to cut off this terminal and strip these wires at the ends and then terminate all the 3.3 volt wires into one 3.3 volt terminal, all the 5 volt wires into one 5 volt terminal, the two yellow wires into one 12 volt terminal, and the eight black wires into one ground terminal. So this approach will give us high amperage terminals for 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts, and ground. An easier way to do this is via a prefabricated breakout board. This plugs into the Molex terminal. This has the male counterpart of the female Molex terminal. This even has a, an on off switch, an LED to indicate normal operation. And we can draw power at the required voltage from a pair of terminal posts. A nice feature of this breakout board is the fuses to protect our circuits that we power from this source. I've gone ahead and plugged it in and now let us test it out. So here is my test setup. I flip the switch and the fan has come on. 
and I can now test the voltages 3.3 volts 5 volts and 12 volts and we now have a setup that can power all of our maker projects